I kind of feel like this is all a setup for us to talk about this. Because if you want ratings, just ask a black woman, would she date a bus driver? Or would she date someone who makes less money than her? I don't know if Ebony understood the assignment or what was going to happen to her once she answered that question. But I feel like this question is really clickbait. And the fact that she's on a new network and that nobody really knows about this show. I knew about it. I've watched it maybe one or two times. I feel like this some way, somehow was a PR stunt. Now, do I believe that Ebony knew that it was a PR stunt? No, not at all. Because based on how she answered the question when Yana asked her, um, I felt like she was just doing her job. She was asked the question and so she answered it. The way that this internet is set up, I could tell you that no matter what Ebony was going to say, she was going to get this backlash. And even more so because of three things. One, she's a black woman. Two, she's a successful black woman. And three, she had a fiance who was white. My bad, is white. And I can see both sides, why she got the backlash and why she answered the question the way she did. I feel like she understands who she is and knows what she wants. So she knows that she may not be able to relate to someone who is a bus driver, but she can relate and more have more interest with someone who is a bus owner. And because she knows what she wants and because she's black, people are going to look at her as someone who is looking down at other people. But had it been a non-black person, or a white woman that answered the exact same way, there would be no question, there would be no backlash. And the people who feel some kind of way with the way she answered and are criticizing her for the way she answered, I feel like they don't have enough knowledge or experience to understand why she answered the question the way she did. Now, you don't have to agree with her, you just have to understand where she's coming from. And you're not going to be someone who's going to understand where she's coming from if you are someone who still lives in the same city and state that you grew up in, you haven't been exposed to other cultures, you haven't traveled to other cities or different states, you haven't gone away to college or you haven't attended college. So if you are someone that just works a nine to five and goes to work and come home, your experiences are very limited. So you're not going to be able to understand or relate to what she is saying. And these types of questions are holding the black community back because we are being distracted from the real issues that we need to talk about. Our education system is in shambles. We need stricter gun laws. And I know that it's just exhausting being black in America. So it's easy to fall into um, reacting to these questions because we want the escape. We don't want to think about the things that we already have to think about, which is very serious and it can be emotionally draining. And one of the things that people have ignored that Ebony did say is that she wants black people to do better. And in order for us to do that, we have to know better. And in order for us to know better, we have to have those resources and those um, job opportunities for us to grow and learn. I know for myself, I know all of this from my reaction to that video is because I've lived in three different states. I've gone, you know, I haven't traveled the world, but I am exposed to other cultures, including my own and learning about other people and just reading books and that sort of thing. So I've gotten out of where I lived. I knew growing up that living in Miami, that the world was bigger than Miami. And for me to be able to live in three different states, I just have learned a lot. And so I know watching the things that transpire on the internet and how I see other black people get wild up by these simple um, topics, these clickbait topics, it's just aggravating because we have so much other things that we need to talk about. And if we could just elevate our conversations, it would be great. It really would. The only way we're going to be able to elevate our conversations is by talking to other people, by going out, living life, and try to 
learn other cultures and learn what other people's point of views are. Because sometimes you don't have to agree with people, but just to have an understanding, you grow so much. And I feel like one thing that is holding the black community back is that we don't have understanding. We only know how to disagree. And if we only know how to disagree, we're never going to have a point where we can agree to disagree. And we barely have that, to be honest. I just feel like black people, we just need to elevate our conversations, have more conversations and get a better understanding of it. And we can listen to each other. We don't have to agree, but just listening and just have an understanding where that person is coming from. And I learned in recent time that you have to sometimes meet people where they are. And that alone will allow us as a community to have more understanding. And once we have more understanding, we know better. And once we know better, we do better. And I think that was the missing point that a lot of people miss that Ebony was trying to um, relay. So that's my take on this. Let me know what you think in the comments.